from Krimer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. German instrumentation and control company Vega opened its new South African headquarters in October. Situated in Lanseria, the new building incorporates Vega South Africa's corporate offices, a warehouse and distribution center, as well as other customer and staff-centric features. Vega South Africa's managing director speaks to Krimer Media's Donna Slater about the move. In terms of location, we picked this because it, it's in the government's uh, development plan where Lanseria is designated as the next smart city for Africa um, to come to bring uh, Johannesburg and South Africa into the Internet of Things era and um, the, th the fifth industrial um, revolution. Uh, thus we picked the location as it is um, the next big thing and you know early adopters of technology generally do better in time and yeah it was it was just a location that fitted us as a company being a technology company going looking forward into the future and we believe that the location we picked fits um, that part of our business and we want to embrace it and also support the country. Um, we have still a lot of um, faith in the government and the country that we will be able to grow from this new facility because it takes a bit of uh, motivation and willpower to still make this type of investment when there's sometimes some negativity around you and for us to make this decision shows that we have faith in the country, the continent, its people, the government and for us it's really important to drive that and to show it. So the current building is about uh, six times bigger than our previous facility. The building is built on a 15,000 square meter um, area. Uh, we decided to buy four plots of land in, in Lanseria Corporate Park um, and it is mainly to, to have the opportunity to build the stuff we needed, um, not necessarily um, what we wanted because wants and needs are sometimes different but for the future the need will grow and we did definitely um, build bigger than we need at this stage but for future growth we needed to do this. Um, so the building is around 6,000 square meters combined um, with a large office component and a large warehouse component. In the future we have the possibility of doing uh, manufacturing and or assembly in South Africa. We've allowed for that in our current warehouse facility. Um, so all the infrastructure is in place if we ever wanted to uh, supplement the manufacturing that happens in Germany and America and in China. As a, um, the springboard into Africa, South Africa is a, is a really good choice for us. It, it's always been the home of Vega in Africa and South Africa. Thus our roots will always be within South Africa. And we have the possibility here because we know the market, we know how, how it operates, the importing of the product and distributing it from here. Thus for us, it's a really good place to have our home in Africa. We can logistically move our product into Africa. We've always had a really good footprint in the SADC region. Over the last five to six years, we've really been aggressive in our growth within going north into Africa, where now we have four um, of our own sales representatives within different countries. And from there, we service those countries with its neighboring countries. And our business has seen substantial growth over the last couple of years due to us using South Africa as the springboard and then our own partners and colleagues in these countries. We have a full solar system that looks after the power needs of the building when um, we have uh, daylight. Um, for uh, Even in low light, for example, today we can service the entire energy need of the business with our solar. Um, so during daylight hours we look after our own energy consumption. Since we've been in this building we've generated 160 megawatts already of our own power. This also I think helps the government take some load off the system so they can um, focus on getting our power stations back and um, getting the, the country and the economy back up to speed. Um, and that's a small part we pay, play for greening our environment, plus I think helping the government to take the load off and doing our part, um, looking after our own power needs. In terms of water, we do have water harvesting, so a lot of our grey water gets harvested and um, used in the cisterns and the internal system, um, and then we obviously use our own instruments to measure that. Figa in Germany has also increasingly focused on a new corporate campaign, the Home of Values campaign, to promote staff values and make the company a better place to work at.
The Home of Values is um, actually an internal campaign that um, we have um, going on since this year. It's um, for us putting our values together for everybody. Um, <clears throat> I do have to explain maybe that uh, um, Bega is a very people-driven company, so for us we feel like a family and um, that's how we want to um, treat each other as well. So what we did was um, we changed our slogan um, of the company this year before we had always looking forward and um, now we changed to home of values. The, our devices are measuring values, it's kind of like a game of words, but we do also have our values in the company, that's why it's our home for our values. And um, <coughs> the important ones for us is um, Simplicity, we always want to keep it simple, what we do within the company, but also towards our customers and suppliers. Um, then, of course, we do want to be um, curious. It's um, very important for us to not lose our curiosity. Um, that also means that um, when you are working on something, being innovative, you can make mistakes. Um, you do have to take risks at some times, um, but this is okay for us, and we give the people the freedom um, to do that. Um, then um, it's very important for us um, to uh, live humanity within the company. So no matter what position you have, we are all on eye level with each other. We respect each other. It's basically all based on trust. So we don't have a lot of control within the company. Um, and then um, last but not least, um, the fourth value is connectivity. So we all feel like a family and that's why we try to um, be together as much as possible. Shell South Africa launched a new formulation of its fuel-safe diesel to the domestic commercial markets in October. The company claims the new diesel is more fuel efficient, is easier to dispense and helps clean heavy-duty diesel engines as they operate. Shell South Africa's supply and commercial fuels manager speaks to Crema Media's Donna Slater about the new product. The fuel cell additive has been for many years under development. Our scientists have been working very tirelessly and hard doing multiple tests and validations to ensure that the product we put out to the market meets our customers' expectations. Our fuel safe diesel is targeted at five key areas and we have already enhanced our detergency. So the first point is the detergency in the additive is actually very superior, enhanced and, and tried and tested. It's much stronger acting and powerful. So in terms of cleaning your engine uh, deposits or should I say your injected deposits, that was the first point that we targeted at. The second one was about what we called an internal diesel injector deposits which is IDID and this is where the, again the detergency comes into action. We've also got a, 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 a formulation that has a dehazer which allows the water that's in suspended in suspension to actually drop out to avoid any corrosion in, 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 your, in your facility and rob you from having a proper functioning uh, equipment. Uh, we have also in included a combustion in, uh, performer and that enhances your engine which allows you to recover the power once your engine is also being cleaned from the deposits, especially your ejected deposits and your IDID. The, last, the fourth point is we also targeted an EGR which is the exhaust gas recirculation and that again brings back into cleaning, it restores your engine to where it's supposed to be and we can get up to 83% power recovery. The fifth part of the, uh, the additive package is about the anti-corrosion and again we know that our, our, our fuel system as well as our tankage or storage terminals is always susceptible to corrosion and the inhibitor allows us to actually prevent this corrosion which then forms deposits and then also robs your system from proper uh, performance. When we look at also the additive, the additive is targeted at, at multiple uh, customers. You know, we look at the agricultural sector, the construction, power, heating, and also heavy duty uh, vehicles. What we also included in our additive package is what we call a deforming agent. And deforming agent allows you to actually refuel your vehicle at a quicker pace. Because as you would uh, realize, whenever you are fueling at a high pace, you find bubbles being formed. This def uh, de uh, deforming additive allows you to actually take away this foam and allow the fueling to take place to the capacity it requires. That's Cream Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.